what did you just explain? The big uh, question, no, not a problem, but it, it was something that was talked about during the war, a big name that came very often in the news uh, was question of black market. Black market, there, there were only horrible people that did black market because it was against the laws and the rules of, of, of the time that, uh, you know, there were very little food that had to be uh, spread that has to be distributed. Uh, you couldn't have, in England for example, eggs hardly existed. They were powdered eggs and you could have a little bit of powder. Or the cell. In, in France, uh, no problem too much with eggs because people who had chicken sometimes, you know, could have an egg and then give them to their neighbors. But the question of meat w was difficult because uh, meat in general is, is rolled and it has to be slaughtered. And to be slaughtered, it has to go to what we call a slaughterhouse, an abattoir, where you, you fell down uh, the animal. And from there, uh, the, that meat is, is controlled in a way by uh, the veterinarian will come and check it in order to be sure that uh, there is no disease in it, that there is no, uh, very often it was question of tuberculosis that was important. But uh, the running of those things from the country, uh, little, animals, rabbits and chickens and poultry, uh, people could go from the town with a bicycle, they could pedal, they could go to uh, and ask the peasant if they could get a little bit of this and that, and sometimes they pedaled back with a, uh, either uh, just a, a rabbit or a, a chicken or a turkey if they were lucky, or a goose, if they were in an area where there were plenty of goose, of geese. And uh, when I realized that, and I needed money to buy the wood to make my boat, I thought the only way, my mother refused to give me the money. I thought, okay, we're going to, to make it. Why and, did she refuse you? She said that uh, the, the quantity of money to buy that wood was more than what the maid had for one month of work at the house. So th there was no question that, uh, you know, I could have that money just for me to build myself a boat. So I... Uh, we started with the making a little bit of money with the stealing and unrolling the lead that was on top of the roof of the house that I replaced by tin plates, etc. I made quite a lot of money, but uh, that money very quickly got absorbed by uh, buying a few things. Um, for did to you keep everybody happy. Did you do that by yourself? Oh yeah. The lead. Oh yeah. Nobody. Nobody knew. I wouldn't trust anybody on the yeah. roof. You had to be so careful that uh, <clears throat> you know not to create any leaks. You had to be sure that wherever you, you remove material, it was replaced by something. You're nine or ten years old. Yeah. How do you know these things? Huh? How do you know how to do it? Because I have always been building. I have always been uh, assembling things. I have always been mm -hmm. sculpting. I have always been uh, building houses on trees. I have always uh, transformed ordinary bicycle in racing bicycle. 
I have always tinkered with so many different things mm -hmm. that uh, it, it it was uh, obvious that uh, the thing to follow <laughs> is gravity, that uh, you you need a certain slope to evacuate things. That, uh, but uh, no matter what, uh, to make money, then black market was the only solution. So we started to buy uh, chickens. Who's we? My brother, being taller and bigger, and respected by the community because he was the eldest, you know, I always put forward whenever we made a little company where I made a seal. Uh, his name was Jean, so it was a J. After that, uh, uh, myself, uh, 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 Claude Michel, I put an M because it fitted in, in the middle of the seal. And then we had that little friend that was uh, the son of the Patero, the man that uh, uh, was always dealing in product that uh, were normally thrown away. He bought the rabbit skin, he bought the lead, he bought the, the uh, non-ferrous metal, uh, he had uh, stocks of uh, w wood. He had uh, a lot of discarded things that uh, he managed to pile together and then sell it in block. And he had three sons. He had uh, two sons and a daughter. The daughter was fairly pretty and I managed to make my brother interested in into that girl so you know I got hooked up a little bit more with the family to be able to have a good price selling my lead and uh, to uh, after that uh, be being in good w with uh, the people that he knew and then uh, you know slowly I knew the people who had that hospital for crazy people that were uh, just outside the town where we started butchering our animals. And this is how little by little by selling chicken and uh, selling rabbits to the people and the mother at school through the kids at school uh, worked quite well. But uh, to sell them uh, a whole leg of uh, an animal, you know, started to be difficult. So I had to go and find my clients into bigger, more important places, into restaurants. And the restaurants that uh, w were not regarded, that wanted to do business, were all the ones that were feeding Germans. And uh, for that, uh, generally, all the restaurants that were around the petrol station where a lot of people traveling have to stop. When the people travel, they are fairly wealthy people who have a car, who travel, who manage to get a little gasoline to go. So those people would like to eat well and, uh, because uh, it was uh, important. They, Generally, they were talking business, and they had invited other people. Mm -hmm. So I found those restaurants would buy meat, <laughs> and uh, they wouldn't discuss prices. They they they, they pay cash. You uh, set the price. Uh, and uh, so I started to transport the meat that we had slaughtered, and and sold it. How into how did you do that? Well, we had. Uh, 